on the evening of Wednesday, October 26. Aspiring filmmakers, family, and friends arrived at the GQT Oxford 7 Theater for ONTV's annual Wildwood Film Festival. Now in its ninth year, eight short films were submitted and scrutinized by a panel of judges. All of the submissions were shown on the big screen, and cash prizes were handed out for first, second, and third place finishers. The event also acted as a fundraiser for the North Oakland Community Coalition. Uh, this year was a little down on the number of submissions, but we have to say the quality of the submissions this year really took a leap forward, uh, especially from the high school students at Lake Morian High School. They really, really show their talent and their technical skills, and uh, one even took an award home. So we're really pleased with the turnout. Uh, again, ONTV always partners with a charity on events like this, and uh, North Oakland Community Coalition, o NOCC, is our charity uh, this year, so we're glad to support, uh, support them as well. Things kicked off on Thursday, October 20th, when participating teams were assigned a prop, a location, and a random line of dialogue. The filmmakers then had approximately five days to plan, shoot, and edit a short film. On October 25th, a panel of judges critiqued each film on things like audio, cinematography, story, and acting. After all the films were shown at the theater, Owen TV executive director Ian Locke announced the winners. Coming in third place was Sweet Nothings, produced by Pecan Studios. Audrey, honey, what is going on? Honey isn't in the recipe, I'm afraid. One cup of consideration, one gallon of faith and trust in each other, Three pounds of love and affection carefully distributed, and then finally, a dash of contentment. I guess that's part of the recipe he missed. I have a undying passion for filmmaking and for working with people like Nikki and, and Storm, and I can't get enough of it. They say playing the villain is more fun than playing the hero, is it? It is very true. This is my first time playing a villain, and I had a ton of fun with it. Um, it was really fun. Um, I actually worked with Emma. We just did a play together for um, uh, Pit and Balcony in Saginaw. Um, so it was really fun working with her again. It was kind of also fun, I guess, being killed on <laughs> camera. <laughs> um, so. Second place was awarded to Curse of the Pizza Box by Team Triumvirate. What are you, some sort of Curse of the Pizza Box? One might say. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? I'm going to make you take over this town. Um, Erm, you're just a voice in my head. You can't do anything. Well, um, uh, you better listen to me. Here's what you're going to do. Whatever you're going to ask, the answer is no. Um, well, I, I like making films. It's kind of a different outlet of creation for us. Um, and it's, it's kind of a fun challenge of the short time period they give you to create something. So, I enjoy it. Now, you finish in the top three. Does that motivate you to aim higher next year? Oh, yeah, first place next year. What do you think? <laughs> Absolutely. First place. First we're place we're next shooting year. for the stars. <laughs> All right. And the winner of the 2022 Wildwood Film Festival was Overtime, produced by Calvin Green and Vincent Martacci of Cine Films. <laughs> Hey, Jake, you got those reports for me? I just really, like you said, it's amazing seeing our films on a screen. It's really great being able to participate in an event like this, too. Like you say, like not a lot of people have the opportunity to do this. It's not a super accessible thing. We just did the 48-hour film festival this year, and, you know, it's not as accessible as something like this. So it's really cool being able to see all these different films from all these different community members that you wouldn't expect to be in a film. Like I, my neighbors across the street last year, they did a one, and, oh, my gosh, I love that. I love that. I, I um... I met Vinny uh, over a decade ago, and we actually met through a, a filmmaking class kind of thing, and then uh, we started coming to ONTV 10 Once years ago, ago taking the, the classes, uh, getting involved, and, and uh, we've never left. Even though I, don't, I, like, I travel so much, I make sure I'm here, home, spending time with him and making films, because that's what we love to do, and that's what it's really about. 
All of the submissions are currently airing on local cable TV and can be viewed on demand on ON TV's YouTube channel. Visit orionontv.org for more information. In Oxford, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News. Thank <laughs> you.